police are coming. I think since we moved here, I don't know how many months ago, that's the first siren I've heard. Because <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I think they've gone. Hello, you wonderful bunch. Welcome back to my shed. If we come in here, you will see we have a table partially constructed and placed in the middle of the room. We've kind of had a discussion and decided we think that's where it's going to go. So this is what it's looking like currently. Um, this leg is not fixed in place. I haven't put the skirt piece across this side yet. Uh, we are lacking a leg here. Um, so I have what I'm calling a skirt on the ends. Um, otherwise there'd be no rigidity to it and it'd be all wobbly. Um, so that's what I've gone with. Super simple. This is just a one big sheet and leg on each corner. Here's the other end to keep it all rigid and square. So I've got to cut two more pieces. I'm going to go shorter on the sides because I do want to use the space under here for storage. Um, so I want fairly easy access. So I think I'm going to go about six inches on the sides. Um, yeah, and then I think I'm going to put another one across the middle just for extra support. Another one similar to this going from one leg to the other one that currently doesn't exist. So my task is to cut to eight foot by, I'm thinking about six inches, maybe eight inches out of this, which is the other half of what I made this out of. So this has been a worktop for one day and it's already completely covered in stuff. <laughs> this hood is really annoying me. Um, anyway, so slight change of plan. Originally, I imagined the uh, table coming away from this wall and out. But since we had it made and we've moved it around, we realised we have plenty of space to walk around. We're going to have racks up against this wall. We've got racks up against this wall. And then there will be plenty of space this end when we have racks along here which come out. I've placed these here just to, to gauge what it would feel like. So effectively we've built a massive island in the middle of the room. And having this wall with racks on means we can get all of the racking in here easily. Yay! And as if, and as if by magic, two six inch by eight foot strips. Okay, they look a lot thinner than I had imagined. But anyway, so I'm gonna work out how to get those attached along here. And pretty much that's it. I do want one piece going across the middle between the two legs once I've got those on. And then I think I'm going to call that done. Um, tomorrow is Friday and we are heading off to Hitchin where we're having the meet up. This hood is still annoying me. Um, and then we're back on Sunday. And then on Monday we get this van load of stock which will find homes in here is the plan. I just realised I do have to make one more cut because these legs are set back and this piece is going to end here I've actually got to take two thicknesses of this off so two times 11 mil I've got to cut off the end of that 
So this will then fit inside here. Right, so let's cut this 22 mil piece off the end of here. Okay, so that's in. I've just um, got this leg set up. Just a couple more screws and that will be finished. So we'll put one in here. And a couple more to finish off this. Job done. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And already it's way more rigid. Yeah, happy with that. So just leg on the other side in the middle. And I'm gonna put a cross piece across the middle and we'll see if that's enough. Oh, and the other six inch skirt across the other side too. But um, yeah, quite happy with that. Other side is now done. Leg in the middle, six inch skirting piece along here. I've also just gone round and notched these end pieces. The end bits were deeper and it looked a bit messy, so I've, I've notched those in, and that, that was quite satisfying. Yeah, quite like that. So apart from just putting a little brace across the middle, that is my epic table done. Yeah, it's a beast. <laughs> wow. So, um, stock is coming on Monday and hopefully it will all be squirreled away in here and under there. Um, so there probably won't be many more shed updates for a while. I just needed to get this ready to receive that stock on Monday. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the little shed videos for the last week or so. Um, if it wasn't your cup of tea, sorry about that. Um, We'll get back to some reselling content very soon, hopefully. Well, I can show you some of the stock once that's arrived. Yeah, so maybe next time I see you, we'll be looking at piles and piles of glorious stock. Anyway, I'll leave you there. As always, I will find a video. I will pop it up here, perched on my hand. Please check this one out if it looks interesting for you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.